begin on the storm watch tonight. Activity picking up on our radar as the threat of severe weather increases. It's a significant change from earlier in the day. The breeze was blowing, but it was hot. And this is a live look right now outside from our Key West camera where the rain is about to roll in. The storm system that is impacting our weather is bringing death and damage in states farther north and in North Florida. The severe weather ended in tragedy for a family in the Panhandle. An eight-year-old girl was killed and a 12-year-old boy was hurt when a tree fell on a home outside Tallahassee. Some residents say the thunderstorms caught them off guard. I was sitting on the porch watching the weather. It was real strong. The wind was real strong. Raining real hard. You know, it, stuff started blowing around here, so I started moving stuff around so it doesn't fall on the trailers. The severe weather caused heavy winds and a lot of power outages in the area. Crews have been hard at work restoring power since the bad weather passed. CBS 4 Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer joins us now. So, Craig, where are the storms now, and can we expect more bad weather heading to the Easter weekend? Yeah, I think uh, the storms right now, which are across uh, entering South Florida, are going to be a one-hit thing, and then it's out of here. So the weekend is looking pretty good. But as you can see, the storm's bearing down now. The main threat, besides the lightning and some brief rain, is going to be very gusty winds as the storms move through. There they are now in the western parts of the Alligator Alley, just about to enter uh, the Everglades Park of Broward County. County, literally about 60 miles now west of Fort Lauderdale and the speed has slowed down just a little bit so about two hours away so it's seven o'clock now so between about eight and nine the storms will be in Broward County sweeping through that should be the worst of it Miami-Dade a little bit farther to the west about 75 miles so entering western Miami-Dade County at around eight o'clock and then sweeping through the county by about nine to 930 and then uh, activity moves on off now in the Keys the storms are already about to move into Key West there you can see from our picture just a few minutes ago. Uh, the storm is bearing down the keys and there's another line behind that first line, but this is going to be the main action here. It's going to sweep its way up through the keys as we go through the evening. Computer models also showing this. There's a line of storms that comes through. There's our 10 p.m. forecast with all of South Florida seeing some rain, but by midnight, just some leftover showers, things beginning to improve. And later on tonight, it dries out nicely. Just a stray shower here or there. So if you're one of those late night partiers, this is the kind of weather for you, though the evening is going to be kind of rough. Storms moving in this evening in the next few hours. Strong wind gusts, that's going to be the main threat from these storms. And then later tonight, breezy showers fading out. Tomorrow, clearing skies and not as warm. In fact, the weekend is looking fantastic. Saturday, clearing and drier. Today's high was 90, only low 80s uh, for tomorrow. 80 for Sunday after a cool start, 50s and 60s for morning lows. In fact, as we go into much of next week, it's looking very nice. We just have to get through this evening. Once again, those storms will be producing some very strong winds. So if you're going to be out and about, keep your eyes on the skies to the west. That's where they're coming from, guys. All right, Craig.